Welcome to the 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil, and I'm continuing my series on setting up QuickBooks Online from scratch to actually getting it running. And I'm looking at it from a church point of view. So I, I'm going to document this all the way from when I buy TechSoup for $75 for the year, all the way to when I start cutting checks and in, entering deposits. And so this is going to be very comprehensive. This is going to take a, a, a long time actually to actually put this out there online because I don't want to skip over steps that maybe I assume that everybody knows it, but chances are, if you're like me, if it's something that's brand new, it's easy to overthink things. So I'm going to capture it as I go along. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so I have... Uh, my email from TechSoup, that was my confirmation email that told me that my uh, donation request went through. And so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to open up this email. And I'm going to scroll down. And I can see here is my activate your subscription if I go to this. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight that, right click and copy. And I'm just going to halfway pretend to read while I'm doing this. I think the bigger thing is to remember to bookmark this link. So I'm going to eventually bookmark this, sign, uh, sign into QuickBooks Online, but I'll do that at a later time. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this. So I, I just pasted that link that I copied. And here it loads. So, so far so easy. What email account do I want tied to this QuickBooks Online account? And I'm gonna go ahead and point it to my Jeff at jctaccounting.com. That's my business one. And I'm gonna copy and paste again, Control C, Control V, putting in my name, putting in a password. And confirming a password. So far, so easy. Nothing uh, too complicated yet. I'm going to save my password. I don't know if you guys do that, but I do that. Um, I have a lot of passwords, and I actually do write them down. Uh, so that's that's something else I do as well. But I also try to save them because it's tough. I always make sure my computer is secured. I change my password on it regularly, so that helps. And um, I don't I don't log into unsecured computers either with my with my passwords or my accounts. All right, so we're glad you're here. So let's go ahead and click next. What do you call your business? So this is asking for your church name or your ministry name. So I'm going to put in my ministry name. This is probably a little bit small. Let me finish typing first, and then I'll make it bigger. Upper Midwest Global Methodist Church, and hit next. And how have I been managing? So my assumption is if you are in the desktop version, there might be a way to import some of your data. That would be really, really cool, wouldn't it? Uh, but I've been using Wave Accounting, which I like it. It's free, um, but it's, yeah, it's probably not as, as robust as I need it to be. So how long have you been with, uh, how long has that been going on? So for some of your churches, it's going to be 10 plus years, um, pro probably a really long time if it's a brand new one, um, under a year, but I'm going to put one to two years is my correct answer. And what kind is it? Is it an LLC, limited liability company? No, most of our churches and ministries will not be that. Um, I choose nonprofit organization. It's technically a, also a C Corp, I believe, but or it's a corporation, but it's a nonprofit organization as well. It is, a, and it's a religious organization. And the reason why you do this, it, it sets up some of the stuff on the back end, so it'll make your setup easier if you go through these steps and just don't skip them. And what am I? I'm a bookkeeper and an accountant. And who works at this business? So most of your churches and ministries, you might have an employee or two. And if you plan on using payroll through that, make sure you click that. Um, but currently we don't have any. We plan on having 
employees in the future. They're, they do integrate stuff well. I've used um, bill.com. I thought that worked really well to pay my bills using that. I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, I might use something in the future, but not now. And what do I wanna do with this? So how am I planning on using QuickBooks? Well, I do wanna track my income and expenses. So I'm gonna definitely click that. I do wanna manage and pay my bills. And do I want to track sales? I'm going to say yes, because I want to track not really sales, but I do want to track donations. And I'll put track mileage just because I, I will likely have people putting on miles, um, accepting payments and sending uh, send and track um, invoices just in case we send out um, like pledge pledge statements. So I will put that. What do we do first? Get ready to invoice? Well, I'm not really there yet. I, I think the first thing I wanna do is track receipts and expenses. And now it's gonna ask me to link my accounts. To link my bank. And they wanna make sure it's very secure. So when you link your bank, I, I know some of us might be nervous about that, so what they want to do is use double authentication. So I'm going to put in my cell phone number and that cell phone number then, um, and I'll probably, <laughs> got a debate, I'll probably blur that out because I don't know, I get enough. I'm an accountant. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to talk to everybody, so I'm going to blur it out. But anyway, uh, you could probably find me online anyway, but uh, I'm going to blur it out and but that way, whenever somebody logs in, I don't know if it, it's not every time they log in, but they, uh, on occasion, especially when it's a new computer, they will send you a code to verify that it's actually you. So you have to have that cell phone number if you want to be able to log in. And I seem to be having issues here. That's no good. So I clicked it way too many times. I wasn't paying attention. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this. Okay, so I'm just going to go right back to the login screen and after about 15 minutes or so. All right, so I did go back to the login screen and it got me through this time. It sent me a text. I was able to verify my, my it sent me a code and I verified that code. And so now I am going to continue with linking my bank account. So I'm going to go to link accounts. So my, my QuickBooks online account is now secured by my cell phone number. And they're gonna ask me, what is your bank? So my bank happens to be First National Bank of Omaha. And they're gonna ask me for my user ID and password. So I am going to stop recording my screen right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and enter that. And if there's any surprises, I'll let you know. All right, no surprises. When I ran it, it just loaded all my transactions right in there. So you can see the balance of my account right here, 16,028, that does agree with my own records. And all my old transactions for the last year have been loaded. And this is gonna probably be the place where we stop. Um, it's gonna ask me if I wanna do more stuff and saving receipts and that kind of thing. Um, how do I handle receipts? I normally actually try to do digital copies. Um, yeah, I normally actually, what I've been doing is saving them into Dropbox at this time. And it's gonna ask me a couple more questions about doing things faster. And you know what? I think I wanna skip this for now. They're, they're gonna ask you, you know, one of the things with QuickBooks is they are gonna to try to get their get you to use their partners. So whether it's this um, Marple or, or any of these other things, that's one of the things that they try to do. And actually some of their services, like I used bill.com, I thought that was awesome. And the price for using that was less than me buying the check, uh, printing it and putting it in an envelope and putting a stamp on it. So 
I actually did appreciate bill.com quite a bit. All right. So I just kind of zoomed through that last bit because all I was doing is asking me if I wanted to do more stuff. I don't want to do more stuff. Um, I'm going to continue this in the next video where we're going to go ahead and look through the account settings and get that part set up. But for now, I have uh, activated my QuickBooks online and I've linked my bank account and I have it secured. So that's where we're at. All right, that brings us to the end. And I know it doesn't seem like we covered a lot of ground there. And that's going to be the way it is with some of this setup because I really don't want to skip a lot. I don't want somebody to get caught up connecting their bank account or securing their QuickBooks online and having to find a different place to go. I want to make this a series that is complete all the way from, again, purchase all the way to printing our first checks. All right, till next time, God bless you.